Hello YouTube and welcome to Sonoma site to race number 14 of the 2009 Coconut Cup Series season. And alongside me once again for this one are Stephen Powell III and Austin LaPlante. Still here. I still maintain that I probably need to have you guys come up with better alter egos if we're going to continue this. That, in the off chance that you're in here for a race that you're also in. On the front row today we have Isaac Flickinger who inherits the... Uh, the front row because of Mary Shelley's issues in her duel and he will start alongside Zachary Fitzwater a pair of former road course race winners here in the series uh, row two we'll see a pair of Roush cars James Qualls and Alexander Rowe with Pretty Shaw Brett Moma row three Paul Swanson Raphael Leduc row four and William Duncan and Diego Yepes in row five here's Russ Steinger as a hand over to Stephen and Austin for some quick thoughts and predictions Austin. Well, if you if you saw the uh, Hooters race, you saw it was very very boring to me. Truck race was 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 crazy after like after the first uh, the first lap in the third turn, and it got crazy afterwards. So I'm hope to expect expect it in this in the Cup race right now, and uh, that's in serious all seriousness. So like I gotta say, here's the command right now. And command has been given, Stephen. Uh, it's going to be interesting here. We got Fitzwater here now with the cloud cover. It could be like a little bit, a little more crazy race. It's going to lease three pit stop strategy will come to a factor. And can the historical season of the '57 to the dismay of Charles continue? It's going to start out back, so we'll keep progress on that well, one today. Starting mid pack in this one, I... starting in 28th spot. Yeah, I hope not. Uh, so there's a Charles. lot of people hoping not, as or as hell will freeze over. Well, Pollard. Come, the 57 team where Pollard comes in this race with a 349 point advantage as this is probably where some of our problems are going to happen. Green flag Green is flag. out. How do we do back here? We make it. We're, we're stuck better than where we were yesterday. Meanwhile, Fitzwater and is going to get the lead off turn two. And runs a little bit in the dirt. But looks like it's all clean and green through the rest of the field. Well, actually, oh. no, it's not. Brock goes wide. Allison Rain goes around. But for the most part, a clean start. That was it. I forgot who started. Th I forgot who started third uh, because of my. Uh, that's my pick, anyways. I would go, I got past third was oh, Alexander true. Rowe on count back. Well, well, that's my very late quickie pick. As uh, Fitzwater from second, though, gets the race lead. I'm not sure how is going to like the fact that he's beat Flickinger to the line, though. That's that's a, that's black flag. You can't do that. You, the, the, the control car has to go to the finish line first. And under, under, under As last line. week's winner, Raphael LeDuc, maybe going to try and set up a move here on Pretty Shaw. Ambrose is about pit it on Yepes. But it's Ebrahimian that dives it on Ozcon and nearly got to the inside of Zorline, but Zorline takes advantage and gets by the 35 and What oh, move? Actually, not clear yet, but we'll get him by before the. Don't see 29 pit road, so. Well, looks like there's not going to be any issues with the officials, at least. But yeah, I'm not quite sure how Fitzwater managed to fleece that one, as the 41 pits on lap one. Now remember, on Vermont's side, the 41 crashed in the beginning of the race and came back to finish fourth, so he's not out of it, even though he's back there. Yeah, but it's an uphill climb again. That was a, that was a great punt there, Charles. 
47 card behind you. Now, interesting to note, I think I might have mentioned, I might have forgot, in the both road course races at Road America and Riverside, we saw a caution for a flip with Pretty Shaw and Mary Shelley. So, could we see our first cautions in Season 1 at Sonoma here? Uh, there's a couple places it could happen. Well, it doesn't look likely since we've made it through lap 1. Uh, well, someone Brett could have Roma's an engine trying failure, to know. get to the back bumper of Qualls. This would be for fourth. Trying to yeah, take advantage of the back of the 57 started out back. Pollard actually losing spots in the early going from the 28th back to 30th. And if Charles would know what this battle is, these are the last two winners here in the series. Qualls is 67 races to go, and Brett Moma started his dominance uh, winning here last year, winning on strategy after Tim Randolph got the page. <laughs> yeah. The uh, one of a few races that uh, Randolph probably should have had last year and didn't. Yeah, but at least he got that big champ trophy at the end. As William Duncan now looking to try and find a way by the 14, this would be for seventh. Uh, yeah, the 31 is a Duncan is a two time Thornton winner, so not surprised to see him up here on the road course. He's actually won the last two polls besides this 2007 2008 pole sitter here at Sonoma. Yeah, coming into this one, he had won the last two. Yeah. Paul Thwompton, another one of his drivers, he won the pole here in the trucks, in the Hooters. I was either Hooters or the trucks in the last, I think it was 08, 07 they did in the, oh, no, 08 in the old three car. 08 would have been in Hooters. Yeah, so it was Hooters last year. JT Bryan, another person battling. Now, if you take out Pollard, it's about 145 points a second to ninth, so that is a tight it, battle right there. It's one full race to go from second to ninth place in points. It's 349 to go from Pollard to second. Worst finish for the 57 has been 16th this year. Let that sink in. This is NR on equal ratings. Uh, yeah, it is on equal, and I don't know how it's managed to happen. 57 As card. There is the 57 out. back. It's making H.S. Norm snore betting happy. Charles well, Sanford, least... one of our uh, California drivers right there, as Matt Duncan, maybe thinking about a move on the 21, couldn't quite get there. Uh, so the issue for the 57, now this is one of the key players when we were in the dual race, he was fifth, draw, stayed back the extra two laps and fell back to 14th. Can't pass for crap at this track unless you run into the dirt, so um, you got to see what, whoever pits the is going to help out. Well, we see Steve Pollard also back here. Steve Pollard won at... Um, Road America, the last road course race, and then, then we had a month break, so he's back coming up here to the double zero. Uh, Derek Hamill trying to find a way through on this. What's going to help the 57 is the fact that Henry Sanford started in Provo Land, Chris Wilson started in Provo Land, Mary Shelley then got relegated to Provisional Land, Allison Rain got in on the past winner's Provisional, although she's 13th in points coming in. Brock was also now, in the Provo as well. What well, we saw at Road America, too, is a driver... Well, Fitzwater stretched the gap, but the uh, 27, 87, 57, that's a mouth. That's a lot of sevens there. Only had to make one pit stop during the race, which <laughs> we're going to have at least two here, but can a driver not have to make three but do two? Because yesterday, even, even in the Hoosiers race, yes, some drivers have to make two stops. As my God, they're curve off in that, that corner. <laughs> right now, kind of just spreading out a little bit. Uh... Might end up having it. Oh, we've got some sort of an issue or pit stop. Landon Smith Jr. an early stop. Looks like fuel that's, only as well. That might be a black flag. No, that's definitely not black flag. Black flag would oh, have I been don't know late. why he would come in for a two seconds top five laps of the race. Well, like I said, that's fuel only. Is what that's that is. a little interesting. I'm that's that's a call. I'll tell you that. That's a call for sure. Um, basically that because a stop and go would have been. Or a penalty would have been that they just got like in and out at three tenths of a second. As Pretty Shaw goes a little bit wide, Duncan trying to take advantage, can't quite get there off of turn 11. Duncan just ran his best lap of the race at a 1 6 14, 1 6 2. Uh, and couldn't quite one up that. As Brett oh. Moma trying to take a look up the hill, can't quite get there on the 26 so hard to pass. I think we need to go to the carousel. Hmm. Duncan trying to look for a way around the 19. Still couldn't quite. The 19 didn't get enough of the curb really to for the 31 to take advantage of it. Yeah, it's going to be early in the corner. I mean, Samet Oskar was the best passer in the uh, thing. He's mired a little bit back in this race now. He comes 13 tried. He peaked. 
Swanson thought about it as Leduc was out wide at turn four. Yeah, Fitzwater won at Valencia. It's a short track, but it's also got five corners too, so kind of will drink it out. And he's a winner at a. He is a winner at a road course. I just forget which one. Uh, he's never won in the Cup race. At, he's won it. I think it was Lime Rock in the Hooter Series. He won it. Uh, okay, that might be what I was thinking of. Well, to be fair though, also if Fitzwater could win this, I mean it's a long way out. If Fitzwater could win this. It would actually keep up the streak of winning his way into an all-star race. Well, Fitzwater coming into this Maybe race what, five is five straight seasons now with a win for Fitzwater. I believe so. And Fitzwater coming into this race has DNQ'd five straight races. So there you go, Fitzwater. And he finished second in Mosport and uh, seventh at Riverside. And take out that DNQ at Road America. Fitzwater has been very good at the road courses. This car, 48, did win at uh, Road uh, Mosport. The car. So it was a reverse oh, okay. of most sport because the 48 dominated the 29 was second. Now the 29 is dominating the 48 second. So <laughs> true. Yeah, it's gonna be almost five seconds, I think, next time. Uh, probably. JT Brown thought what... about it on Swanson. Couldn't quite be close enough there into turn seven. I don't know what caused him to get such a big lead and stuff. You know, it doesn't. It just seems like that clean air is so prevalent. Uh, I tried to have Jack just high enough to maybe catch him up. But, yeah, know. it's just these cars are bricks, like I mentioned. If the Hooters was 550, we're running bricks today, so. <laughs> As nothing happening up front, although it looks like Delon Abrahamian might have a run on the 35. Can't quite get there. Smedoskan goes wide. Here comes Brian James. That's going to be for 16th. Yeah, we saw the uh, the 35 make his first. He was 17 the points at, in one point, and uh, Brian James is actually going to hold that. Around the outside, turn 12 gets the move done, so move Oscon back to 17. Yeah, there's Gene Sanford second at Road America. We see the 08 now. Too bad oh, for the 08 no, car. Oh, a little bit wide. Keeps unless we have a crash, the 08 does have an onboard. So if unless we have a crash, we will not see that. I mean, even in the event of a crash, I doubt we'll see that. Yeah. As, As just getting a little Swanson, dormant. Swanson, again, just trying to get out of the mirrors, basically, of the 14 there. So what we're looking for is when, who's going to make the first move on pit road. So 45 lap race, if you make it to lap 50, if you have the to pit road, lap about 12 to 15 laps. So here's the thing. The if, you can, if you have to pit between 12 and 14, you have to make it three stops. If you can make it 15 to 16, you can possibly stretch it. Possibly not. Someone else with issues. Uh, or another early pit stop. That is Tim Randolph on pit lane again. Ooh, that's not a good day. And, oh, that's oh, not a good that's, day. No, he, got, he got glitched. That's really bad. Well, so, that sucks for Tim Randolph. Tim Randolph with yeah. fourth in points coming in, 300. Actually, he was tied with Brett Moma for third, 385 points back. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Um, as Moma now looks like he'll be able to get third place back in points at the very least. Yeah. Um, so it's coming up to that pit stop window right there. O2 car coming around. This is the next. This weekend, uh, the following week, they're gonna run the. Uh, Brandon Ash team, and then when we go back to the East Coast, it'll be the Joe Gibbs team. Uh, Jack James also pitting now in the eight. Okay, this is very early. He, this is. I, it is going to be four a tires and fuel for the eight. I mean, I don't remember when the first one was last season. I mean, it was that was the one more freeziest ones I've ever seen. Well, it's going to yeah, be interesting six. to see how this works for Jack James because I don't know where he was running before the pit stop. Uh, that's, to my opinion, that's a terrible call. That I mean, 9, 18, 27, 36. I well, mean, he's still, on the, he's still on the lead lap. I mean, technically, you can bake it on four stops, but that's, well, three, but that's not really the greatest idea ever. Well, I think he's going for the severe undercut. 31 pits. To... Uh, did he? No, 31 lost a lot of time. They, no, they dropped time. back he as well. As oh, Ebrahimian War Rodriguez now, this is the belt ongoing battle for thirteenth. I don't think uh, anyone also, hit that time. What now? Also to note, also what anybody also oh, wait, else did. Yeah, did. someone did. Yep, as did. That's who was fell on the top. That I knew somebody dropped out. Uh, Yepes Alexander also pitting. 
Yep. So a lot of mixed bag of strategy. This is good. This is what's going to shake this race Now, where does the eight cycle through of this now with those two? He's not going to be anywhere. He wasn't anywhere close to them, I think, before. God, the 77 with a god awful stop. Well, he's still going to come out ahead of the 08 and ahead of the 8. Yep, so that strategy by Jack James went to the sh Oh, oh Isaac 48. Flickinger will pit from second on lap 10. Yeah, that's Brett a four Mama shot strategy. Yeah, he probably didn't expect a pit stop there. But he's going to make Anyone the hard left turn here. There's a big gap from the 07 to the 96. Oh, yeah, there really is. 57 uh, got by the 05 is pitting. Yep. Does that help set up a move here for someone else? No. Actually, it does because Wilson's going to make a move on Mary Shelley. That is for 35th. And simple as that. Transformer move right there. Now, a lot, mixed bag of strategy. This is very interesting. Uh, oh, and the 41 has finally been released. Um, after... Did he get towed? I don't think so. 48. Now, let's no, get I, I've seen that before. So, can the 48 get up? Let's see. Well, that's actually the cleanest. Well, never mind. Well, oh, he got, he got, he got pace card. Basically. He, uh, he is still going to come out ahead of Yepes, though. Uh, Yepes, I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's, that's not bad right there. Let's see. Now, you're going to have to watch out for the merge line, too, because that's going to be very critical, too. And here comes Jack James. He's going to get out ahead of the 05. Oh, uh, 29 pits. No, no. Leduc does, oh. though, from 7. Yep. Oh, my bad. I thought 29 did. And 8 Door so line also hit. pits. Looks like Gene Sanford's going to try and make a move on Vargas. Couldn't quite get there. Gene Sanford's also got damage in that car. Henry Sanford's going to pit. Mary Shelley's Whatever. thinking about it on Wilson. One lap after the 18 got passed by the 42. Couldn't quite make the move stick. Now, remember, we saw these two at Road America flip each other off a uh, international horseshoe. So, got to get a little clean here between Mary Wilson and, uh, Nel and uh, 36. Uh, 14 gets their four tires and fuel before the two even gets to their pit stall. Yeah, that's how big the gap is. So the 14 coming out, we'll see where he comes out with the 48. Yeah, 25, not in good, uh, dire strip, not in a good pit stall. Uh, nope. 14's gonna beat the 48 out. We've got a battle maybe between the 77 and 48. 25 comes up yep. behind the 08. Yep, no no issues in that one. I mean, this 29 is gone. <laughs> uh, and it looks like the best, our best case scenario right now is to watch the battle between the 48 and 77. Uh, anybody? Yeah, this, this the is 14, very interesting. Though, has got the 48 beat handily. By a country mile. Come by to the cones breaking marker here. Juan Rodriguez up to 10th. He had a, he had a third at, uh, Juan Rodriguez finished third at the uh, Canadian Tire, so it's good for them. 77, uh, hasn't won since I'm gonna say the Steve Paul back in season one. I could, no, the one with Henry Williams. But the, um, Penske and Jasper race have been since season one. Uh, oh yeah, it's been a while though. Uh, yep, hitting that time is. around was Ozcon. And yep, Wilson 40. and Landon Smith Jr. again. Yep. I was going to get a good stop on the Well, not a good stop, yeah. A one Wilson. car all shout. Oh, shout out yeah, to the one car the... brand new paint scheme for the one this week. Lengthy stay for the one coming out. 19 second pit stop. Yeah. As LeDuc's going to beat cool. them out handily as well. Yep. The one Ozcon's car going to get gonna come up by behind 25. the 25, maybe even behind the 8. Don't wreck your teammate. Don't hold up your teammate. Yeah, that too. Oh, Oscon just and barely Oscon's had a jacket. And still in the second one. He's holding up the eight. And we've got massive pit stops here on this lap. Fitzwater is in, which hands the lead over to Qualls. Swanson is in. 29 got damaged. That might, well, he's had a humongous ass oh, lead. Oh, Shelton battle. trying to get by Nelson on track. 57 pitted. So Shelton gets by Nelson on the racetrack, now trying to go after oh, Owen Miles. Boy. 
will follow this because it's an actual battle on racetrack. And it looks like Shelton's gonna kind of have to settle in behind the 96, at least for now. Yeah. Let me just hit seven didn't actually fit. Never mind. Uh, the 11 car, Nelson, trying to get Steve Paul up there. Uh, Steve Paul behind him right now in 18. James Qualls leading a lap here in the series in the 26. Let's check back in. Fitzwater is still ahead of LeDuc and ahead of the 48. By a hundred mile. So it looks like Fitzwater is going to be able to keep the lead. There's the 57 coming out of pit lane, and we've got the rest of the field maybe pitting here. Yeah, probably. Now, this is interesting. Anybody try to make it in that extra chance? Oh, Shelton's going to try it. The three stop, the two stop strategy, actually. And so too does Steve Pollard. Made Shelton the... actually. No, Shelton doesn't. O2. Lead the lap. O2 led the yeah. lap on pit lane. So yep. Shelton, Steve Pollard are trying it. And that's it's it. Fits on. Yeah. So if this works, this could be a big brain play for the 21 and the 40 and the 27. Yep, great strategy call right there. Uh, if I it wonder works. how far if it if works. It... But here's the issue too. They are only about nine seconds ahead of Fitzwater, and Fitzwater pitted and fixed damage. Oh, no, uh, try. They're only two seconds ahead. Holy crap! <laughs> I don't know if they fix damage though. Look at the left side of that car. Yeah. They might have said, you right. know what? We've got big say. enough lead. Hey. Hey. Tim Randolph still caught uh, three laps down after his pit lane issues. Yep. And no shot come. here. The 21-27 going to pit this time and hand the lead back over to the 29 of Zachary Fitzwater. And he's going to be leading by a uh, country mile. <laughs> I almost feel like giving the 41 the laps back because that was a pit road glitch. I don't know. I don't know how fair that would be either. Yeah. Uh, so Fitzwater uh, it is, is... Fitzwater leading. Brett... Mo no, it is going to be with Duke second. By ten, ten seconds. seconds. Ten, ten quarter seconds. Three three quarters. Well, Isaac Rodriguez is third. third. Yepes is fourth. Alexander Rowe is fifth. Pretty Shaw sixth. Brett Moma is in seventh. Eighth place is Logan Alexander with ninth place JT Bryant. Swanson is in tenth. Seth Cole is eleventh. 12th place to Juan Rodriguez. And there's the 8. To Brian James. Oh, Everything. 47 crashed back there. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Oh. And Zorline. 25 for, for the dirt. You saw that side by side. We'll see it later. Oh, I'm boy. That in the corner of my eye. I saw smoke back there, and I was like, the hell is going on? So that's unfortunate. As Pollard Whoa. kind of past the 51. He's actually going to make contact. Well, that's a save. Here comes Allison. That's going to be a battle for the Everyone say hallelujah. Because he's way back here. Well, well not we'll well, where... kind of. Yes and no. Um, to most people. Looks like he's still going to be back in like the 30s. Um, I'll pick this back. Oh, we've had a spin here. That's an interesting spot. Oh, like we started that practice just 31 pitting. Uh, pits. Yeah, I saw her in Hooters practice. Oh, someone way for the infield, I think. Yeah, Henry Sanford's going to try and get but a spot. But off the down. corner, you would probably see it. But Not you really. Have, you would have seen it on side by yeah, side. Yeah, you saw it right there. So Sanford around the outside. That's for 21st on Downey. Yep. So... Updated field rundown. Swanson's up to 10th, apparently. Battle for 9th, actually, between him and Logan Alexander. I'm glad I went back up to watch this battle. This is going to get... Oh, good lord. Oh, man. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Swanson's going to get the ninth spot away, though. Do we have any other moves? No. 
Uh, Row is catching up. I, I swear we will do a field, proper field rundown here at some point. As Row is going to get the third spot away from Yepes now. This is newer tires on the 16 versus the older tires on the 77. Where is Pretty Shaw going? Uh, off the track. As the lead is now 12.2. So Shaw's sixth. Moma, Bryant, Swanson, Alexander the top 10. Seth Cole's in 11th. Juan Rodriguez, Je Brian James, Dewan Abrahamian, Jack James, Charles Sanford, James Qualls, Vargas, Ozcon. Penny Sanford now runs in 20th. Downey is in 21st. Braddock is 22nd. Gene Sanford, Matt Duncan, Ali Nelson, Ryan George, Derek Hamill. Chris Wilson has gone around the 57, apparently, uh, for 28th. 29th for RJ Reynolds. 30th for Brock. Shelton is in 31st. Uh, Pollard is in 32nd. Rain, 33rd. Steve Pollard, 34th on his two stop strategy. Mary Shelley's 35th, Hodak, Owen Miles, Landon Smith Jr., and Tim Randolph trying to hang on as both the 47 and 25 have gone behind the wall. Yeah, that was an interesting spot to crash. 29 is getting actually, held up. Pittswater is getting held up by the 41. Uh, the only thing the field's kind of hoping is they crash. And Duncan hit again? I don't quite get the pitch strategy. Maybe some damage. Oh, there is off. actually. Look. Look at the uh, left rear, I think. Hard to tell. No, maybe not. Apparently, it's just seeing things. Well, I keep on him <laughs> real quick because here comes the field. Uh, it looks like Henry Sanford has made a pass for 19th now. Yeah, he's gonna I'm be not good. quite sure on who. Oh, it's on Oscon. That's what it was. Yep. And Downey now is going to try and get around the one. The outside. Of 3A and is going to get it done, I think. Woo. No, not yet. Not now he's he clear. Pulls it over for the defensive measure there. And Oscon now falls outside the top 20. He was one of the best cars of the duels, too. Meanwhile, Yepes trying to hang on as now Rowe has gone by, and there's a train of cars starting to form behind the 77. Yeah, Yepes is not as fast here. Uh, Jack James should be up there road pretty soon with that, just pitting on lap nine. Well, I think that was still definitely just hitting on an early side of it. I don't think nine laps was the limit of what they could go. No. Like I said, I think pit window kind of is like 12 to 15 or so. As to Pretty Shaw trying to figure out a line that she can use to get around the 77. This would be for the fifth spot now. Shaw in yep. need of a good run up in eight. And that might be a penalty. Black. Actually, let me make sure. Let me try and do it off a of pit lane and let's make sure that it clears it that way. Just in case. Okay. We're good. We are good. Now, but here's the thing. Oh, oh, hopefully. I'll oh, check, yeah. check the standings at some point. Well, he's... I didn't say right below, whatever. You're in, you're in as control. 11 seconds there. As Pretty Shaw has gone around the 77, that is for fifth. Now, Brett Moma's going to try and take a shot at the 77. He's going to try. So, Yep is hanging on for dear life now. JT Bryant yep. thought about it on the 0-2. And might have an idea here. Oof. He's going to try and go around the outside of 3A. That seems like a popular spot to pick. Oh, oh, and around the outside of 4. Not going to be clear, though. Yeah, it's going to be side by side in the hairpin. Turn 7, not hairpin. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Fail counter. Uh, Jack James is in, but JT Bryant is clear. 
slide job oh, yeah. through turn eight. Uh, so Jack James went nine and twelve laps on his two. Leduc is thing. in. Isaac Flickinger is also in. Interesting strategy right here. So the eight scored in thirty seventh, but they were around the twenty first spot. I want to say. Yeah, and they lost the lap, so it's interesting. So, yeah, they're down a lap right now. But Leduc, Isaac Flickinger both pit. JT Bryant now is going to be the next one to try and take a turn at the 77. Yep, and he is definitely holding up cars right here. Well, and that's basically Fitzwater's best friend. Yeah. Uh, JT, Kenny, oh, no. That's not going to be a good line. Oh, actually, might work out full well for him. Oh, JT going to try. Oh, 77 brake technical. 24 seconds stop, though, for Leduc. Yeah, he had damage. And 98 is oh, thinking. Oh, Brian thought about it. Couldn't make the move into 7. That would have been a perfect opportunity there. Yep. As. Uh, 21 seconds stop for the 48. God, everybody having long stops. What was the eight stop? 20 seconds. Man, these pit crews suck. Uh, looks like 77 might be pitting here. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, maybe there was a mur. Oh, this could be. An, this could get interesting. Paul Swanson's also going to pit. That's all good. So allowing Seth Cole to get a run. Uh, 29 stayed out. 41 has now been lapped again. But Yepes pits with Swanson. Who else pits? Logan Alexander is in. Charles Sanford is in. Henry Sanford is in. And we have Brock passing Hamill for 25th. Shelton passing Wilson for 27th. And Shelton on the newest tires right now on the track, other than the above pit in the last couple laps. Yep. So she's got newer tires than anyone around her. RJ Reynolds thinking about a move on the 42. Can't make it work. Allison Rain still crushing the 57. He's got a lot of damage to the left side of his 57 Chevy. Yeah, it's not 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 great, but not bad. 96 car. The Duke is There's gonna come out of the Duncan, ball. who's now had the pit penalty. Swanson's gonna come out behind Flickinger. And a lap down to Fitzwater. Fitzwater is <laughs> in As true was, free kick control. The two was actually a 15 second stop. And he's well, gone ahead good. of the 08 he and knows, the 05. Knows how, knows how to do it. Jack James is going to come out ahead of Charles Sanford, maybe. Sanford, though, still good. alongside as they come towards turn three. Yep, as a 46 second stop. Holy crap. <laughs> That's going to be a F. He actually <laughs> comes out ahead of the 98, who he was ahead of before the pit stop. Jesus, I think the freaking back of the field's gonna be ahead of him after that. That's God. 28. 28 second stop for the 41. Man, what do they fly in? Freaking uh, glory to God racing pick for over here? As what? now this, I don't know. Fitzwater stays out. You don't know GTG racing in the truck series? Meanwhile, Jack James now trying to set up a move on the 05. That's what they're called. I'm not serious. Look it up. Don't tell me what to do. I don't know. We don't usually try to go for the real life references, but it is what it is. Uh, no one else is hitting here. Although Ebrahimian right now the closest on track battle with 35. Now you want to try world. to make it to lap 30. That should be your goal that for some of these guys. That would be the goal, but I don't see how many of the people could, other than maybe the 21 and 27. Oh, 57 put a block. And Allison Whoa. doesn't let him. As Hodak will pit. So the 36 gets by the 57. Now that is for 24th. Now Mary Shelley going to try and take a chance at the 57. And also, look who's starting to catch that group of cars. I do, yeah. Uh, yeah, so 
going to be interesting to see what happens there. 21 still in the catbird seat in terms of the two-stop strategy, it looks like. Although I don't know how she's going to fare compared to Fitzwater being stuck in the traffic as long as she has been. Gene I mean, yeah, Sanford Fitzwater's... on Matt Duncan. This is for This 15. is not going to be good. Whoa! And Gene not quite clear. Duncan hanging in there. This is good. Really bad. jerking the wheel. Odak a Whoa. nearly 20 second stop. I mean, they are still side by side. Oh, Allie, now, don't Allie do Nelson's it. Allie Nelson's going to try it. Whoa! Now it's going to be around the outside of turn 10. Can't stay there. What a move. Rock thought about it. Shelton, defensive line, keeps a Hamill off. As Ozcon is in, so is Downey. I think that was it for pit stops this time around. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a 60 and the 1 here. Leduc's being held up now by Landon Smith Jr. in the 29. That is actually a battle for position. Yeah, we are almost a uh, full second by the leader. As Leduc cannot get around, and this is hurting his strategy, any part of it that he had going. Yep, as now we're getting four laps to the magical number. Fitzwater stays out again. So we watched the battle for 29th, or for 28th, I guess, actually. <laughs> Why, I don't know, but it's something. Whoa! Well, Duke is charging at every corner, trying to find a way around the 37, and just can't. Uh, anyone hitting this time? It looks like we've got some takers, at least by those lines we do. A lot of takers. Now this is a lot more. Not good strategy by these guys. Well, they probably can't make it. Uh, a lot of the Roush cars coming in here. Braddock's in. Actually, all of the Roush cars are in this lap. Gene Sanford as well. Brock, Ryan George are in. Rain, Pollard. Uh, that was no, Wilson as well. Be... Seth Cole's coming out with uh, Alexander Rowe. And they've both got a pit stop on for the 57 now. Yep. Uh, Leduc's already gone by. So is Isaac Flickinger. So despite being stuck... And now Leduc is free because the 37 is pit. Yep, pretty sharp a second. As right now, the list of people who could maybe make a two-stop work is dwindling. Fitzwater is in. Uh, where's the 19 at? She, there's right, right there. And Yep is all over the 19 right now. This oh boy. is gonna be interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Somebody went off. Oh boy. Someone go off. Yep. I'm not sure who. But this is a mess right here as the 57's coming out of the pits. Whoa! Oh, oh Wilson oh, King Sanford and Vargas! Oh god, get back up there. Oh, get back up there. What the hell is that? George, Gene Sanford, and more trouble. The hell was that? <laughs> As Vargas uh, with the uh, ha ha moment, I guess, going by Gene Sanford, the karma for the 87. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh -huh. though, Fitzwater, I think, is ahead of Shelton on pit strategy. I yep. don't think Shelton's. Oh, it's talking like Dr. Seuss yeah. books right there. That was a line. Yeah, basically. Um, Seth Cole now trying to get by JT Bryant, looks like. You have MoMA trying to pass uh, Roe. And at this point, I have no clue what Bowser are what. <laughs> uh, yeah, that who knows. Well, the 0 2 is past the 16. Well, and Seth Cole's passed both of them. Yep, oh, Roe is just. Roe was going Roe was for well it. wide. I think JT Bryan also jumped both of them in the pit cycle, too. I don't think the 19 has pitted, but I'm not sure. No, they have not. Uh, they're they in now. It's in now. <laughs> 21. 29 Owen is actually Miles 21. Is pitting. That was yep. from fourth. Oh, my God. Fitzwater is going to have, is going to, is just yarding the field today. Only a 15-second stop for the 19. 
that's gonna help. Uh, but it is Fitzwater back to the race lead. Um, and I don't even think the pit stop cycle is complete as the 21 and 27 have yet to pit. Yep, and they but are... it doesn't matter. They're, they're already behind 29 even on pit cycle. Even without pitting. And Fitzwater with a damage is still pulling away. So, Fitzwater, uh, good win. Pretty much. Uh, unless something happens to him on the racetrack, or... That's just, the only uh, way. Someone else coming out of the pits, that might have been... 96, yep. This is gonna get interesting. Keep the camera on him. Yeah. Oh, As God. Nelson comes by, that is gonna be the 55, so it looks like 28 spot for Owen Miles. Yep. Um, but with the pit cycle not yet over. It is Fitzwater leading. Shelton Pitts coming to lap 30. Same for Pollard. Interesting. So LaDuke back to second. Isaac Flickinger I think is going to be third. Should be. Um, Pretty Shaw looks like she's going to be fourth. Yep. JT Bryan is now in Fifth, Seth Cole is sixth, Brett Moma seventh, Alexander Rowe is eighth, Paul Swanson is ninth, Henry Sanford is up into the top ten momentarily. Here comes Ebrahimian wanting that spot. Jesus, good strategy by Henry all day. Henry from Provisional Land is up into the top ten. Yep. And mind you, he's had to pass the 57 to get up to here. But he's now facing a hard charging Valvoline dodge of Delon Ebrahimian. Oh, you can say that again. And I don't think Ebrahimian's gonna get there. It is Logan Alexander then in 12th, 13th to Jack James, 14th Brian James, San Charles Sanford's 15th, Gatlin Downey, Braddock, Rodriguez, Qualls, and Brock, the top 20. 21st to Ozcon, Duncan 22nd, RJ Reynolds 23rd, Yepes is 24th, uh, Ali Nelson is 25th, Owen Miles 26th, oh. foul for position there between Mary Shelley and Hodak, that was for 27th, uh, Chris Wilson is there, Gene Sanford makes a pit stop in the 87 car, as Derek Hamill's going to try and get by the 21, maybe. Thought about it. Couldn't make the move work. Allison Rain. Pollard trying on Ryan George. Can't get the move done. Hamill actually did get the move done, actually, on the 24. On 21, well, I mean. Sorry. I spoke the number. That is 31st, though, for Shelton. We're down to 36 lead lap cars, the last of which is Christian Vargas. That's not right. Yeah. And for Fitzwater, it is a 21 second lead. Um, over hey, Lake awesome. Yeah. Can you share some of that popcorn, please? <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Duncan. It, 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 yeah, here's some, here, here, here's some kernels. <laughs> Isaac Flickinger gets some breathing space over pretty If you're hungry, go get yourself a hot dog. I might this rate. And the best battle remains the battle for 10th between Ebrahimian and Henry Sanford. What was it? It was 35th, 37th spot for Sanford today after the 18 got relegated to where they were. Just the battle, not bad. Not a good good comeback for Henry, who won at Sonoma in Season 2. Uh, didn't help his ratings for this race, but still worth noting. Yeah. Uh, for Duncan, what's the pit stop going to be? I want to go on 20 seconds. <laughs> As Ebrahimian taking another look. 43 is quicker than the two, that's for sure. Yeah, that's definitely. 87 is definitely. Oh, there we and go. And there we go into turn seven. The 87 is on fresh tires and a lot down. And Henry's got to. Oh, oh, that was close. Now does he let the 87 go by at any point here? Uh, it's going to be interesting on Thanksgiving if he does it. Uh, yeah, it might be. 
Although, I mean, Gene Sanford's race kind of ruined on the, uh, the crash on the track. And not going to be able to get to the two that time around. Everhemian catches up to Paul Swanson now. And the lead is up to 25 and a half seconds now. It's time for a commercial break. Uh, Ali Nelson, this is going to be on Yepes. That is for 24th. Mary Shelley's going to try and get by Chris Wilson for position. And it's going to do it. So move the 11 up to 24th, move the 18 up to 27th. Back at the 27th, apparently. And around the outside for 31st is Shelton. Yep. Oh, big hit on the wall for the 36, though. 57 got passed by the 99. And the 96 going to move Whoa. the 77 out wide. He did. He succeeded. And Mary Shelley going to try and take advantage as well. G J uh, just falling even further back, it looks like. Uh, no, it's 36 going back around the outside of the Whoa. 21. Whoa. Shelton can't hold it in there, though. And so Allison Rain back by the 21. And Shelton on her new tires cannot seem to get anything done on the cars that she's racing. Yeah. Rafael Leduke is pitting again. Why not? Pit lane's up. The pit window's open for the final stop. I mean, he ain't gonna win, so might as well. And Shelly now gonna take his chance at the 77. So move the 18 up to 24th spot when all said and done is Jack James and Logan Alexander are also in. Yeah. Like I said, pit window is open now. We're within the final 12 laps, so. I don't see why not. I mean, it's not like we're going to have a caution anyway. But... Never say never. Where's the 29? Oh, I guess the 29 had already passed the pit lane by that point. Yeah, he had. By a lot. Oh my god. Isaac Flickinger now will pit from second. For like, potentially the final time. Abrahemian's going to now get around, well, I was going to say get around 13, but 13 didn't pit. So Swanson also pits. Anyone else pit? Charles Sanford's going to pit with 11 to go. So does Brock. Brock's had a solid run as well, up to 17th there. Not bad. He was also back in provisional land. Looks like Yepes is going to pit. Don't blame him at all. Shelton can't get by the 36 still. And Fitzwater's trying to lap these cars. Fitzwater's coming up to lap them. Yeah. That's his teammate first off that he's going to catch too. That's hilarious. Uh, the 14 is closer. The 14 is closer to the 29 now than when he hit. But is a lot down. I'm ready for someone to maybe intend wreck him. Oh, oh. And the 48's got game. pace card again. That time also a 27 second stop, which didn't help matters. No. Swanson and to think the pace card is invisible if you go through it. Jack James trying to come on by as well. He's going to get by the 05 at the very least, but not by the 51. JT Bryant now up to second, having to deal with the 05 coming out of pit lane. What if anybody's going to try to stretch the fuel out here? 77 comes out just fine. Looks like Henry Sanford is in. He is. So is Randolph Downey. Uh, Steve Pollard makes a move on the 36. Ryan George decides to pit. Shelton also got around the 36, it's worth mentioning. And Fitzwar stays out while the 57 pits. Oh, there goes that strategy. Well, I wonder what the, what the call is going to be for that car. As there goes the 29 off or by the pit exit, so no problems with 41. Yep. There goes Leduc for 
uh, that spot. So Sanford though is going to come out ahead of the 48 by a long shot. I'm not surprised. 57 took two tires. It looks like. Uh, yeah, he did. So we've got our first ounce of strategy with the 57 going two tires. Yeah, it's not going to get him gonna... anything. Because oh, great. Well, it might close to the pit. top 30. Oh, God. Meanwhile, Downey came out right alongside the 98. Pollard comes out behind the 02. Oh, God, this is going to get interesting up the hill. And Shaw might try and take advantage of this for second as Fitzwater is out to a 32 second lead. Uh, when was the, first... I mean, the last. This is the most dominant we've seen in RCR cars since Cleveland. Yeah, and that was a road course. Yeah, it, yeah Cleveland sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Drew Carey. Uh, meanwhile, the next car to get lapped would actually now be the twenty or the ninety-nine. That is a lead lap car. There are twenty-one cars currently on the lead lap as we work the pit cycle. As Owen Miles, Hodak, Nelson are all in. Oh, 57. Only one taking two tires so far. Oh, he tried it. Dunk. And that's not even for position on the 36. Yep. That's Duncan just trying to get by some of these cars to get some ground in between him and the 29. That's literally all that is. As there's Hodak coming out of the pits. Meanwhile, where is... Oh, there's... Uh, this is a battle for position, I think. Nelson and Sanford. He's 32nd. He's a little ways back. Well, that could be timing just didn't update. Yeah, the, the 11 and the 05 are both scored a lot down, so I would say that was four position there for Sanford. Mm -hmm. As Leduc, this is also four position. That's for 22nd on the racetrack with Leduc Passing Landon Smith Jr. Shelton is on pit lane with Pollard and Ozcon. Looks like Ozcon's taken two, it looks like. Unless I missed the beginning of our pit stall. Uh, the 21 took two. The one looks like took four. 12 second stop. That's a really good stop by the one. Well, it's either that or a really long two tire stop. I don't know. 27 might have taken two. As 41. Tim Randolph's trying to get a lap back. Are you kidding me? What? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Don't tell Four me Four laps down. Happen. He's trying to get a lap back. Yeah, well, I thought it was, I thought Fitzwater was going to turn him. Alexander Rowe is in. Fitzwater seeming like he's trying to make it on fuel for whatever reason. Why not? You run out, you still coast. A lot of drivers in that time. Uh, Vargas pits, and there comes Fitzwater. Yep, yeah, R.J. Reynolds top five right now. So the 14th, there goes Landon Smith Jr. to the pits. That's going to allow Henry Sanford to get a free spot. Yep. Logan Alexander's been passed by Charles Sanford now. That was for 29th spot. Yep. Owen Miles trying to look around. Ooh. Ozcon, this is going to be for position as well. That's like a crossover moments. Sanford goes wide. Here comes Alexander. Oh. And maybe going to try and use Ozcon as a Ooh, pick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to do it's it like, as it's well. The one has a problem. It's what it looks like. Meanwhile, Wilson coming out of the pits. That's Downey. There's Ooh, the he got bumped. Yeah, Downey might have moved the 42. This is Meanwhile, not good. Sanford gets back around the 08. Now trying to go back around the outside of the 1. As Ozcon just cannot get it going today. Uh, 29 was definitely 4 tires. The eight, the 42 was 2 tires. Here comes Alexander now on Ozcon. This was not going to end well, I don't think. Oh, maybe it will. As JT Bryant, by the way, led a lap. Uh, oh, wow, he's actually, somebody's actually leading? Um, I'm not sure if that was on pit lane, though. Catch him by the center, I don't know. Allie Nelson now going to try and take a shot at the one. 
Well, since I've seen the top, the, the top three in like 40 laps. Oh God, here we go. And he's gonna get it here. Wilson going on, uh, making a move on Shelton in the background as well. But Shelton gets the move done. Oh, there's the 98 and 19 pitting. So, as Hodak, this is for a position on Steve Pollard. So we're getting moves now. Oh, it's took great. 40 laps. Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, uh, forget the popcorn of, now. Bring in the hamburgers. Speaking of, <laughs> uh, let's get this part done. Yeah. Just in case. Um, as Hodak, this is going to be around our points leader. That is for position. That's for 30th. Oof. As uh, Fitzwater's back to the race lead. Steve Pollard now is another a spot away from the 57. The two tire gamble not paying off for the 57. As the 19 took two tires. It's still going to be way back in the field. Well, or are they? There's the 19. There's the 98. There's the 29. I think Seth Cole is second. JT Bryan is third. And Pretty Shaw is in fourth. What? Wow. Meanwhile, MoMA is in fifth. I think it's Everhemi in sixth. LaDuke is seventh. Um, that would put Rowan 8th, Henry Sanford's 9th, Isaac Flickinger 10th, Braddock, uh, Brian James, Swanson, Brock, Walls, Jack James, Mary Shelley's up to 17th after having started out in the rear of the field. Fuel only for the 57, he had to pit again. Okay, oh, wait. Shit. Duncan is in 18th, Owen Miles, RJ Reynolds, Sanford... Alexander, Nelson, there's Ozcon fending off from Downey now. Shelton, I don't even know who's where at this point. We've got 33 lead lap cars, though, as the 57 on fuel only comes out ahead of the 07. And now Seth Cole having to navigate a lap car. And Pollard finding himself in a spot he hasn't been all season as a lap car. No. Well, on the, on the bright side, we are going to close up the gap at least a little bit up front in the points. Because the 2 is now all over the back bumper of the 16 for 8. As that is Rowe going defensive into turn 7. It actually works out well for him. And Ebrahimian trying to pressure Brett Moma. Uh, I think now, yeah, 29's already taken the line. We're three laps to go here. As the 64 is trying to get round on the 29. And Fitzwater's right. just trying to coast it back, basically, and not have anything go wrong. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't even need to overtake these cars. He's got 28 seconds back to, the, to his own teammate. This is going to be an RCR 1-2 here, unless something goes wrong. And I mean, goes horribly wrong. That's how it's gonna have to happen. For everyone's sake, Tour 9 has tire or engine. I mean, for Fitzwater's sake, I kind of hope he doesn't have something go wrong because he would have led 43 laps out of this race. Well, not 43. I mean, like, well, you sort of. You got you got cars ever pitting. He, he's had he's had laps that he didn't lead during pit stop. Um, meanwhile, Swanson maybe trying to get 12th spot away from Brian James, two of our Hooter Series uh, drivers from last year. How's Ozcon holding up? <laughs> oh, he's actually holding up pretty well. well. He's actually found a spot where he can kind of just ride. RJ Reynolds, a solid run from where he started. We've had a few guys who have made some ground up. Like I said, Mary Shelley started 41st. She's up to 17th. Henry Sanford started 
37th or so. Oh, never mind. Henry Sanford can't make it. Commentator jinx. Maybe. Well, at least it is a little bit. So Sanford unable to make it on fuel. Who else had to stop for fuel? Family failure. That's going to be just a couple seconds splash and go, basically, I would think. So Henry Sanford yeah. has to forego a spot inside the top 10 for actually a lot of fuel. Uh, that's Hodak around the outside of the 21, though. And the white flag is out, so Henry Sanford's actually going to finish a lap down in all of this. Jesus Christ. Because now Fitzwater's driven by him. Fitzwater just does not even take out the 64. Yeah, literally. As long as he can just make it back, he's got this in the bag. I'm surprised we also haven't seen a brake failure. I kind of turned that up for at least for a rope course race. And we saw it happen in the duels. We just didn't see it happen here. 27 and a half seconds back to his own teammate as Fitzwater comes through the S's for the final time. That was actually, they did, why did the two take tires? Thought they needed them. This is not Formula One, you're not looking for the fastest lap. Yeah, really. As coming into turn 11, Zachary Fitzwater with the dominant performance of get the, the year wine so ready. far. And he's going to get to get drunk here in wine countries. The 55 and 11 had to pit as well. Fitzwater wins at Infineon. By a country mile. Five straight seasons with a win for Fitzwater. The 11 comes across the line a lap down, 35th, 37, a lap down in 36th. There goes the 57, the 07, 27 seconds back at the line in second. There's Brett Moma in fifth, Ebrahimi and Leduc, row. Flickinger in ninth. It's going to be Bill Braddock Jr. It looks like in 10th. There's the 28 crossing the line. Brian James holds off Swanson. There's Mary Shelley for 16th place finish after starting 41st. Charles Sanford comes home for a top 20. Look at all these cars full minute back. I'm going to cross. Steve Pollard, 26, after starting 35th and having to get into the race on a provisional. There's the 64. And this one is in the books after an utter, uh, well, for almost lack of a better word, ass whooping by Zachary Fitzwater. It is a 1 2 finish for RCR. So Fitzwater's going to be happy about that one. Maybe not so much with where the 31's going to finish the day out. Top 10, though. Uh, behind Fitzwater, Seth Cole, JT Bryant, Pretty Shaw, Brett Moma, Delon Abrahamian, Raphael LaDuke, Alexander Rowe, Isaac Wickinger, and Bill Bragg Jr. Gentlemen, your final thoughts on this one? Well, Zachary Fitzwater put on the performance right there. Very disappointing for the 57. Uh, no, not many of everybody else, but that's kind of disappointing to see that go away. But 07 car second, JT's going to have a good run. Our chase battle is going to be interesting between Brock and Seth here. Uh, so the second week in a row, a driver coming off five straight DQs is one. So Amy Shelley, it's your turn next week. Pretty Shaw, top five right there. Uh, Raphael Duke, seventh, first, and seventh in the last three races he's made. Not bad. Uh, 51 at Brock and off the bench at the 13th. Uh, Jack James on the lap nine pitch strategies is, uh, where was he finished? 15th place. We look at the bottom of the results down here. Uh, we have one Rex or line out Ambrose Paul at 37th. That's, um, that's just very disappointing. Henry Sam for 32nd, 9th to 32nd, the last lap. That's not going to help him points. Chris Wilson, 25th, has been in the top five points, I believe, the last 49 races. In jeopardy of falling out after a bad run with uh, Pretty Shaw doing well. Uh, next weekend, we are going Shaw to... Shaw was eighth. Shaw was eighth. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that streak might be in jeopardy. Uh, next week, we're going to Memphis and Ontario. So we are going to have a cup only weekend. So we will not see, we will see 68 cars going there. And uh, we'll see if the 57 can rebound. And next week, we're going to see a Star Trek car. So awesome. I, I got I hope. God, I hope not. Anyways, this was a much better uh, race on like Hooters. Trucks was, a, trucks was a little chaotic, but this was a much better race based only based on uh, uh, pit stop strategy and other stuff. Even though if you were 29, forget all that. Just run, just run, it's like, like a normal, bit of a normal race for him, even if there wasn't, even if there was cautions, just domination after domination, domination, Steve. Charles. This oh, was Fitzwater's that... fourth win, uh, 18 races since his last win, too. That sounds wrong. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the fifth straight season he's had a win. He won in, let's see, where's his driver's Because he's made the last four all-star races on wins. He has won, he won season three Martinsville, season five Twin Rigs, season six Bounce Arena, and now season, season seven Sonoma. Uh... I don't know. I, I'm like I said, he's been in the last four All Star races, and they were all on wins. So I don't know. I, oh well. Either way, congrats to Fitzwater on the win. Uh, dominant effort there for RCR today. Uh, like thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. Leave a comment down below or on Discord. To let me know what you guys thought of this one or how you guys did. For Stephen Paul III and Austin the Plant, I'm Gordon Fantan 1. This has been a production of the NRS style. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys in Ontario. Go Boston Celtics.